What's up, everybody? Welcome back to T Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. Now, this time around, we have another PTCO tournament. This is series number two, and this time around, we're actually playing a Dark Mew deck. Now, if you remember the last time around, we actually made Jay. We actually uh, had the same sixty as James, and actually made the deck. Now, this time around, James is the one who made the deck, and we are playing an Eva Tall Mew box variant kind of deck and you'll see what it's gonna go I asked did he want me to show it he has to, to, to he asked me to not show it but you'll see a ton of games with this deck I think this round the series is seven rounds and as you see my opponent is playing a Zygar deck I'm actually playing against um William Greer right now uh there's an Ultra Ball he told me good luck on him he respond back real quick uh Ultra Ball discard two cards from his hands and get a Pokemon out maybe he's playing the Vileplume uh, version uh, good luck to you too. All right, guys. We'll see what happens. Uh, can we get redemption or not? And this time, not get ninth place because unfortunately, that's what we got last time. So is he Ultra Ball discard a Sycamore and a Team Flare Grunt. All righty. Now, the good thing about our deck is we're playing Fighting, which is resistance to Dark, which is great for us. Uh, Land Pulse does twenty of those standard card plays. Twenty. This deck does twenty more damage to so forty, and Cell Storm does sixty heal thirty from this Pokemon. Now. Our main goal is to probably get out the uh, Fright Knight uh, Evitol. There's his training as well. We're going to look at the top cards of their deck because we can do 60, 60, 60, 60 and make it where his, uh, his tools do not work. So that's the plan right now. Carbeat gone down the field, okay? And let's see what else it does. I want to have. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything set up at the same time. Uh, but like always, this is a PTCO tournament series. Best two out of three. It was easy to more discarded crush hammer. So it's an energy nile uh, fighting dot deck. All right. So see trainers mill. Gonna look at the top cards of their deck and let's see what does my opponent get out here. And then pull my list up real quick as well. Um, like I said, James is the one who made this this time around. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, who has the better list? That can one of us get top uh, cut one more time? So crush hammer. Coming out from my opponent uh, with that trainer's mail. Um, one second, sorry, I'm just pulling up the list. All right, there we go. So pass on to our turn. All right, so we get a ninja boy. Uh, ninja boy, not really that useful right now. We don't play any like one price attackers. I mean, one energy attackers besides Mew. Um, so we are just going to probably put a dark energy in the active and playing in give both of us a new hand of six already. So they're playing Garbodor. Great. All right, so there's a uh, Evitol, a DC, and a Sycamore. All right, so we're gonna put an Evitol down. Put a DC on this guy. Oh, we already attached return. Sorry. Okay, so we'll just end our turn. I'll our opponent turn. Uh, we kept fighting fear belts. Um, we might do the Evatol, and the reason I might do the Evatol is because we know my opponent's gonna play down Garboder. Um, right now, I'm just gonna pass Ultimate Opponent's turn, okay? So, on my opponent's turn, now we can put a DCE, Fighting Fear Belt, maybe Ultra Ball, get out an Evatol EX. That could be really good. Um, there's a strong energy going to the Actus right now. That Cell Storm is gonna do 80 damage, which is not enough for the knockout, uh, which is great for us. It's a good thing to note. Uh, but we could put a DC, hit one of those Max Luxers, as you just saw a second ago. We could play the Max Luxer, put a Dark Energy to Fright Knight, do Pitch Black Spear, do 60. And if he if he doesn't, I might, if he doesn't put down another EX Pokemon, I might, I don't know. There's a Hammer, uh, tells, okay, good, good, good. All right, we know he played Hammers, there's one Hammers. Okay, he has two Hammers discarded right now. I guess we sh I don't know. He can Via Seeker for Discard the Dark off the active, but then we play a Switch and an Escape Rope. Escape Rope could be really good right now, because uh, we can smack one of these guys for 60 while smacking the Zygarde. That could be really useful. But no, we're going to see Cell Storm for 60 damage. All right, so in our turn, what do we get? We get a uh, Via Seeker. So we'll put a DC on this guy. Um, Ultra Ball, discard one and two. We're going to play, yeah, we're just going to discard our hand regardless. Uh, Part of me wants to, I guess we should maybe go the Evitol. Even Ball could really good. Pitch Black Spears just seems really nice as well. Umbreon's not going to be used because my opponent's not playing a Mega. Uh, Mew is very scary because they're playing the Garboder. Uh, but Mew can't hit for weakness on either one of these guys right now. So that doesn't matter too much. So I'm just going to grab the Evitol EX. Put that guy down. Uh, put a Fighty Fury Bill on it. And then I'm going to Sycamore. Discard my hand. Draw 70 cards. And let's see. Can we find a... Okay, there's a Max Elixir and an Escape Rope. So this could be really good. So let's Elixir. Come on. Give me a Dark Energy. And oh, there's not a Dark Energy. No. Oh, no. If we had hit a Dark Energy, we might have been okay this turn. So we're going to Ultra Ball. Uh, discard an Ultra Ball to the end. And with this, we'll grab a Shaman. We're going to set up. Draw 70 cards. We have two Max Elixirs left in deck. Uh, we do have one prize. So we'll shame it, set up for three new cards. Can we find a, uh, come on. Okay, there's another Max Luxor, so let's try take number two. And there is a Dark Energy, that's great. So put a Dark Energy on this guy. 
We will escape rope. All right, so let's switch one of his Pokemon. We'll send the evil toy. We'll pitch Black Spear, hit the bitch, and the active for 60 both. Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's what, that's what we wanted to see. So let's see. Who does my opponent send up? Rubbish or the carving is the question. All right, guys. So let's see. What does our opponent decide to do here? Now, luckily, we'll be able to spread this damage, spread the love just a little bit. Uh, but we will not be able to take a knockout um, this turn. Now, the carving has a one retreat cost. This Trubbish has a two retreat cost. And here comes Trubbish. We're going to send the Fright Night Evil Toy, of course. And we will just pitch Black Spear for 60 and 60 onto that guy as well. Now, if we had Ninja Boy, ooh, what we could do is we could be a little weird. Put a Dark Energy the Shaman in. Uh, and eventually, okay, there's an Enhancer discard DCE. That's not great. Uh, Flow Stone to the active, okay? Ultra Ball discard two cards from his hand. So how do we deal with this deck? Discard the Shaman and a Super Rod. I'm uh, going to get the Garbo out. I'm going to shut down ab ab abilities this turn, okay? So the Garbo coming come on the line. Huh. And a second one, we're going to discard the hand, draw 70 cards. So now we can use tools, um, which, I mean, the only tools we play is Fighting Free Belt, which the one even all does have it right now. Um, there's another Crush Nammer, and it's a Tails. Okay, so no, not discarded Dark Energy. That's good for us. Um, how do we deal with this Zygar that constantly keeps healing? Um, now luckily he did put down the Garboder, so we can, oh, there's a D, a Shalane's Wrath, well, 2140. Well, not knock us out just yet. It'll only do 110. Uh, 20, 40, no, 120. So 120, which would not knock us out. So Cellstorm, Force 80, going to heal that 30 damage off that Zygarde. Okay, so things are not looking good for us. So we get a DCE, okay. All right, so how do we do this? We can go Pitch Black Spear, um, 60, not really do anything else. We had a life that could be a little bit different. We do play one switch, which is something to note. Um, let's see. If we do Pitch Black Spear, bring it up to 90, the next turn we'll need a... An energy at a max elixir. <sighs> he knocks us out regardless. Um, which is very unfortunate. He can just sell storm, hit that 30 off. So I'm actually gonna put a DC in the active and just play an in, uh shove both players' hands and draw six new guards. What I'm looking for is a ninja boy in all right, there's a lifestander, a pitch black spear even tall. Uh no ninja boy yet. So put down this guy. Um we train your smell, you have a trainer's look at top cards of our deck. Uh we'll grab a switch. Oh man, if we uh well, I guess switch doesn't matter too much regardless. Uh, so press done. We will, if we fight a free with the active, we get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then Cell Storm will do 6, 7, 8. So actually, he does not take a knockout if we fight a free with the active. So we're going to fight a free with the active. And we're going to use Pitch Black Spear. All right, for 70 damage. Uh, so now, yeah, 120, 140. Uh, yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so he's actually not going to take a knockout right now unless he goes for the Land's Wrath attack. All right, so let's see. Does our opponent use Land's Wrath or not? If he does, he will take a knockout this turn. But if he goes for Cell Storm, he well, unfortunately, it will not knock us out, so that's a good thing, good thing for us. And uh, that's okay. All right, I guess we'll take it. I guess we'll take that one for sure. And what we might do is just go crazy with uh, Evitol. There's a Carby coming down. Okay, how many VS seekers have I played? Just one VS seeker as of right now. Okay, so let's see. Will we see a Lands Wrath? Will we see a Cell Storm? I mean, imagine we'll see a Lands Wrath. Just try to knock out this Evitol to get it out of the way. Um, so let's see what does our opponent do here now. What we kind of need as well is our Muse. Muse is not really useful for attack right now. It's more used for the free trait. So we see a Fighting Field going to the active. Give it 130 HP. But 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we get Energy and a Max Elixir, we can knock out the Zygarde this turn. Uh, but we have to hit one of our Max Elixirs. There's one left in our deck. There's a Fighting Field going to Carbink. Okay. And there's a Cell Storm for just 90 damage. Okay, no, wait. Did I do the math? Oh, the Fighting Field, which, made, which gave it the knockout. Okay, that's what it was. So 160. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 160. All right. If we hit a Max Elixir and an Energy, we can take a knockout this turn. So in our turn, what do we get? There's a Dark Energy. So we'll put it on this guy. And we will Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. Can we find a Max Elixir? No, oh, there's not a Max Elixir, unfortunately. Okay. So put down a Mew. We will retreat into this guy. Um, uh, we could put down Parallel City, maybe. Uh, right now I'm just gonna end my turn. Oh, to my opponent's turn. Oh man, that's so bad. Um, let's see. Parallel City. We could do that. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh man, so that's not good. All right, so we're gonna end our turn. Unfortunately, onto our opponent's turn, missing that a knockout. Okay, so on our opponent's turn. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, Crush Namer. Hey, going to discard a dark. Oh, my goodness. Things are going terrible, guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, so that's not good. 
That's terrible. Okay. So I'm going to discard a dark. Uh, cell storm for the knockout. Okay. All right. So 100 to damage. Going to heal that 30. Going to have 190 HP left. Oh my goodness. So let's sit at the Evitol. All right, guys. How can we do this? Onto our turn. We get a switch. So put a dark into this guy. And we will via sticker for a in. All right, so let's get a new hand. We'll get six to get four. And let's see what can we find with this in. We do have the switch left, which is great. Uh, there's a dark energy. Max looks to train your smell. Okay. So we will train your smell. Look at the top cards of our deck. Uh, we'll grab a dark energy. Put it on the Evatol. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. We have to one-shot this Zygarde. That's the main thing to do. Uh, can we get a DC next turn? Will that knock it out? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oh, that's 170. It's still not a knockout. And he's going to sell Storm. Oh, my goodness. How do we do with this, guys? All right, so we'll just, just end our turn. Yeah, we'll just end our turn onto our opponent's turn. He could go for Land's Wrath, which will knock us out. Man, things are looking bad for us. But at least he'll go down to three price cards. And, man, this Evatol has to go all the way. Like, it has to go the distance. All right, so let's see. What does our opponent do? Do they have any more Crush Hammers? How many have they already played? They have played two Hammers so far. No, four Hammers haven't played, and one Hand Hammer hasn't played as well, okay? All right. And also, with this match, it's like a learning experience for me because I really don't know how to play this deck too much. But it's always fun to play new decks to me. Uh, but 230 HP Zygarde is not fun to start attacking this game. Oh, man. I guess next game, what we have to do is just load up one giant Evatol and just smack Zygarde over and over again. I think that, that's our game plan. And we just put down Garboder. Um. We can't knock out his carving, so we might have to get a... Oh, man. Okay, so strong is going to that guy, okay? All right. Uh, via Seeker for a Sycamore. Going to discard the hand, draw seven new cards. Okie dokie. And uh, discards a Fighting, DC, and... No, two fi two Fighting and a, and a Hand Stammer. So he plays two and Hand Stammer. One Via Seeker has been played so far, okay? So strong energy on that guy. There's a Lands Wrap for the knockout. It'll do 130 damage, okay? All right, so we're going to send it to Evatol. All right, so 190 HP. There's a super rod. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 160, 170. I guess we should have said a shaman first, but we know. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight Dark Energy in the active. I'm going to via Seeker or a Lysander. I'm going to bring up that Carbink, and I'm going to take a knock on it while we can. I think that's the best play right now. So we're going to evolve. For the knockout, okay, so we'll knock out this, that guy, so 138 damage being done. I'll take two, one price card, give me a DCE, and another dark energy, okay. So I imagine Zygarde will come up. Alright, so how do we deal with this? Here comes Garboder, alright, so not opponent's turn. Uh, let's see what happens, so no card being, so they can't power Zygarde too easily right now, which is great for us. Uh, right now the Zygarde's not going to take a knockout, there's really no way, unless it likes into Shaman. Now, if a life center is the same, can we take a knock out the following turn? Probably not. We have to do 220 damage, which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's only 150 right now. Uh, so, hoping to get the max looks off the, off the price cards. We do play four of those. Um, all right. So, let's see what happens. Uh, what, will sh what will he do here is the question. He has a ton of cards in his hands, unfortunately. Um, we could Y cycle on next turn. Okay. Here comes Zygarde. All right. All right, guys. How do we do this? Now, lands are out to do. If he goes for a cell storm, okay. There's a trubbish coming down. I don't care about that too much. If floods don't go to trubbish, okay. And there's a license. They're gonna bring him a shame and take a knock on it. Okay, so he can actually use the uh, the cell storm attack. All right, so cell storm. There they go. 90 damage. Okay, gonna bring 30 HP left. Okay, all right. So going down to one price card. Well, send him even tall. We got to get an in off this. We got to end our opponent down to one card. So, in our turn, we get a DC. So, put down the active. We will train this mode. Look at the top four cards of our deck. And there is a delinquent, which, oh, that's not what we needed. But can reverse file take a knockout? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 190, 200. No, we can't even take a knockout with the reverse value. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, hmm. What do we do here? If he has a license and he wins the game, he just brings up shame and take a knockout. I guess we should have done... Oh, I didn't know it's on top of the DZ, obviously. Um, man, I guess we put down Reverse Valley. Yep, and we'll not take a knockout. We will be short with this E-Ball. It's going to do a ton of damage, but it's not enough. It only does two. It only does 200. All right, so 210. Oh, it's my opponent's turn. They have a license. They can win the game. Uh, this turn, they have Via Seeker. So I guess our plan... Yeah, there's a strong energy going to the active. Show me Lysander... Be a secret for Lysander, he'll take the game, um, okay? Alright, so in the game number two, uh, how do we play out this match? Well, I think the best way is to 
not bench so many shamans, but we started with one. Like, unfortunately, we started with one shaman. Like, I remember that. We started with shaman, so that was a bad part. Um, that definitely did lead us to uh, to lose the game. But we'll play one more game. Uh, I did best two out of three. Uh, so let's try the game number two. All right. Let me message him saying uh, I'll go first. All right. So we'll see what happens on uh, this game. Uh, we do get to go first. And I don't, I don't know. This matchup is very, very strange. I guess what we have to do is, like I said, a little bit giant even tall and take knockouts that way. And uh, we'll see what happens on the game number two, guys. I don't know if I'm a fan of this Evatol Mew deck. I know James is in love with it, but I personally am not a big fan of it. I don't, I don't really understand it. Like, why do you play Mew? Why did you? Why don't you just tackle with the Evatol is what I'm saying. All right, but here going to game number two. The, that crush name one turn did hurt us as well. So go ahead, like always. Um, we go first regardless. All right, when you won the coin flip. Uh, yes, I would like to go first. And let's see what happens. On to our turn. What do we get? All right, so there's a Mew. Uh, so right now, this is actually a good hit because what we can do is we can start Mew. DC, Max, looks or hope to hit something. And start the party that way. Now, the thing is, my opponent plays two enhanced hammers and four crushing hammers, which is very bad for us. Like, that's something we really don't want to deal with. So, put it down even tall, okay? Oh, press done. And let's see what's going to happen. Put down two Pokemon, okay? All right. So, here we go, guys. Round number two. There's a Carbink and a Trubbish. All righty. So, I'm going to... Mm, like, man... <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary because he plays in hand hammers and all this kind of stuff. All right, so we're gonna ultra ball, um, discard Lysander and a uh, strange spell. We'll grab a shaman. All right, we'll put it. Yeah, we'll max elixir. Look at top six. Uh, we'll grab a dark energy. Put it on that guy. Um, we're gonna DC. I'm gonna actually Lysander the Trubbish, and I'm a shaman set up for six new guards and if we can find a breakthrough evatol we can retreat to the breakthrough evatol and make it where the trubbish cannot retreat next turn uh fighting free bell no there's not one right there but we can max looks here look at the top cards of our deck we'll put a dark energy on this guy uh put another dark energy in this oh we already attached for turn uh let's just max looks again try to get as many energies out we can this turn all right so we won't grab anything uh put a mac a fighting free on this guy and we'll just pass on to our opponent's turn all right so let's see what's going to happen i was hoping like i said to hit a fright and evil retreat and make where the trubbish cannot retreat during this turn um but uh, there's okay there's an enhanced hammer soon yeah i, I knew that's going to happen all right come on double crushing hammer all right so this card's team flare gun uh shaman delinquent and a team uh, and a fighting free ball okay all righty so let's see what does our opponent here now we cannot attack this carving because safeguard um there's a training smoke. Look at the top cards of their deck. What we could do is find maybe a shaman, or not a shaman, a mew, uh, dark energy, max looks to it, and to go for an even ball, even ball that way. Um, so there's a flow smoke going on Trubbish, okay? Alright, and will we see you retreat to Carbink? Will he even, he just pass with Trubbish? I mean, I imagine he'll retreat to Carbink because Carbink has safeguards. So we see Ultra Ball. Go and discard two cards from your hand. And let's see what does our opponent get. Probably a Zygarde, most likely. So discard the Silent Lab and an Ultra Ball. All right. Uh, show me Zygarde. Imagine that's what we'll see. Imagine we'll see Zygarde come down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Maybe he prides off his Zygarde's. That could be interesting. Or, oh, no, there he is. There is Big Bag Zygarde. Okay. Now, does the opponent send a Carbink? And does he go a Safeguard? Or does he send a... Or Zygarde to start attacking this turn. I mean, I imagine you sit a Carbink, just let it sit there. Yeah, start Carbink, all right. And will our opponent just pass? I mean, I might put down the Zygarde, uh, just in case we have an end, which we do have an end to get rid of that Zygarde out of their hand, okay. Um, Let's see, what will our opponent do here? So just a pass on to our turn, all right. So we get an Ultra Ball. Um, We only played two Evitol, so we didn't put down Evitol. Uh, play Mew, I mean, in both of the new hand is six, all right. There's a dark, 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 even tall. Okay. Hmm. All right. So we could put down this guy, maybe. Dark energy it. Could be good. Uh, yeah, we'll put down this guy. Dark energy. Retreat to this guy. And probably just end our turn. Yeah, we'll just end our turn on our opponent's turn. All right. So let's see what happens. Um... I set up this guy because it has resistance to Carbink, and Carbink really can't do that much right now. And if he puts down a Zygarde, we can start sniping it next turn. So there's a Crushing Hammer, and it's a Tails. All right. That's good news for us. Okay. All right. All right. We'll take those wins. 
All right, so let's see what else does our opponent have here. Now, next turn, we just need to tell Dixon that we get his Ultra Ball away. Uh, the Sycamore give us a new hand of seven. There's a Carbine Break coming down. Okay. All uh, right, now, it doesn't... It won't do too much. It detaches two fighting energies... Attach two energies from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. Uh, there's a strong energy to the active. So right now, it's only going to do 20 damage because it's Diamond Gift. Uh, hits for 20. Then strong energy, 20 more. But then it resists the fighting, which is great for us. And there's Diamond Gift only doing 20 damage. All right. So on our turn, what do we get? We get an Escape Rope. I'm just going to Ultra Ball uh, discard the Dark and Escape Rope. Uh, with this, we'll grab a Mew and... Oh, no, we'll grab Umbreon and just discard it and draw 70 cards. And we really need to hit this DC. There's only two DCs in here. Not good, boy. That's not good, guys. All right, spin down Evitol. And we'll sick more. Discard our hand. Draw seven new cards. Can we find a DC? And there's a DC. All right, so we can DC this guy. And we can use Pitch Black Spear. Do 60. And that's uh, that's be it. Because we there's not an EX on the bench. All right, so now our opponent's turn. Let's see what's going to happen. So we're going to draw a card. Um... All right, so Ninja Boy, we could Ninja Boy at the Shaman, but I don't know who we can really send out. There's a Crushing Hammer, and it's a Tails. Woo! All right, so two Tails so far. Luck is kind of on side. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, all right. All right. But what we could do next turn, if if he hit Tails, we could attach the Dark to the active. Hex Maniac could take a knockout that way. Uh, so Diamond Gift for just 20 more damage. It does see my opponent. It's dead drawing right now. All right, so I think I just put a... Dark energy in the active, and just go for another pitch black spear for 60. All right, all right. So we'll hit that guy for a knockout. Go down to five price cards. There is a Shebe. All right. So now, opponent, there's Sim the Trump. If my opponent doesn't find a po another Pokemon, we can knock it out with this Evasol. So there's Garboda coming to line, okay, to shut down abilities, which we don't care about too much. Uh, there's a Super Rod. I'm going to shovel three combination Pokemon and energies back into the deck. All right, so Carby, Carby Break, and a Shave. All righty. And uh, let's see what else does we want to have. Does he have something or not? If he does not, he can lose his game this turn. Uh, Parallel City. We discard Shaman and Mew. Uh, both cards are pretty much... Uh, yeah, we'll discard those two. That seems fine. All right, and what else does our opponent have here? Does he have anything or not? Okay, Sycamore. Go ahead and discard the hand. Draw seven new cards. I imagine if he finds a Zygarde, he will immediately try to put that in play. Um, so let's see. There's an Ultra Ball. Go ahead and discard two cards from his hands. Discard a Garboder. And uh, I'm not sure what the other card was. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, but let's see. What does our opponent get out here? There's a Zygarde. All right, so we'll see Zygarde coming to play. And we will just start... I mean, we'll just start Pitch Black Spear doing 60 60 over and over again. There's a Zygarde coming down, okay? A Carby coming to line as well. If we could license that, that Carby, that'd be amazing. Fighting Field going to Zygarde, all right. And does want to have an energy. He has some way to attack. I imagine he does want to leave Garbo in the Axe, but if he does, we hit that for 60. Hit the Zygarde for 60 as well. All right, and there's a Fighting Energy. So we'll see a Land Pulse for 40, 50, uh, minus 20, so 30. No, just a pass O2 our turn. I will I'll I'll allow that guys. Alright, so put a dark energy in the Evitol and I think we just sick them more. Discard our hand, draw 70 cards. Because what I'm looking for is a Lysander next turn. Alright, so there's delinquent. Man, if we had a delinquent last turn, that could have been really clutch to discard that one card in his hand. Alright, so let's see. We have a license in this card file, which is great. So I'm gonna pitch Black Spear. <laughs> 260 and then 60 to the Zygarde, of course. Alright, so in our opponent's turn, they're gonna draw a card. Um, things are looking okay with us this game. We we got kind of set up. We could we get to link with discard, make our opponent discard two cards from their hand if we want to do that. Um, if they don't retreat, then we'll for sure delink with. If they don't delink, if they don't retreat, I mean if they do retreat, we'll just via Seeker Fly Sander bring out the guard board or take a knock on both these guys. Or not take a knock on this guy, but we'll start doing some heavy damage. And uh, if we get the guard border out of play, it makes it where fighting for doesn't work either. It doesn't work as well. So Zygarde comes down. Okay. What's that one card in my opponent's hand? Is it something? Is it nothing? Uh, will we see it? Oh, we could snipe both Zygars now if we wanted to do that. But we had to knock out a 90X regardless. So I, I might, might as well just knock out Garbota while we can. Uh, via Seeker for a Sycamore. Oh, no. Uh, I was hoping they wouldn't have anything. So Sycamore, go and discard the hand. Draw seven new cards. All right. Let's see what does the opponent find. There's a Trainer's Mill. Go to the top cards of their deck. Uh, how many Darkies are in here? Just one Dark Energy, okay? Uh, Trainer's Mill doesn't look like it got anything, okay? And uh, there's a strong energy on that guy. So, 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 we're do six, eight. Uh, oh my goodness, is that a knockout? Uh, yeah, that is a knockout. Oh my goodness. So, no, 70. Okay, so 110. So, we're still alive. We're still kicking. All right, so on our turn, uh, what we're going to do is, like I said, via Seeker for a Lysander, uh, we are going to bring up that Garboder. Uh, yep, we're Lysander, bring up the Garboder. We will put a dark energy on this Evatol. And. 
Yeah, we'll just pinch Black Spear, uh, knock out the Garboder, and doing some damage to that Zygarde as well. All right, there we go. So 60 and 30. All right, so uh, we'll take go down to four price cards. We get a Trainer's Mail. Okay, so what we can do next turn is pretty much knock out this guy. Lands Wrath, bring it back to 170. Um, but then we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, plus 54, 150, uh, which would not, which will knock it out. Alright, so now opponents, they're gonna draw a card, okay? Alright, guys, so, uh, let's see what can happen. We have one max list left in deck somewhere, uh, one, no, two DCEs overall, I think one is prized, uh, one dark in there as well. We don't really play Super Odd. Shaman really not that. I mean, Shaman could be used late game, but we know what happened last time. Like, like Shaman messes up. So we see a fight. You're gonna carving, okay? And we'll put it go for a cell storm. Maybe it'll hit it down to thirty. Um, okay. There's a V Seeker for a in. So we'll go down to four. They go down to six. And let's see what can we find off this in. I mean, if we have a a DCE and a Lysander, that'd be the best two combinations. So let's see what do we get. There's an Ultra Ball Delinquent, okay? There's a carving break coming online, alrighty. Uh, right now, we actually have a bad hand. So, Cellstorm for 60 damage. Going to knock us out. Uh, Going to heal it. Bring it back to... Uh, it has enough HP. I'm like 100% sure. Alright, so yeah. It has 170, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140, 150. Uh, ooh, actually... So, we actually have to attach this, deep, this dark to this guy. Uh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, we're going to actually delink with my opponent. Make him discard three cards out of their hand. Alright. And uh, let's see what three cards he decides to... Discard here. Um. So, okay, Shaman, Zygarde, and Fighting Energy. And we are going to Eve Ball for the knockout. It's going to do a ton of damage to that guy. 170. Alrighty. So, go down to two price cards. That's one and two. We get a Reverse Valley and a Fighting Fear Bell. Alright, so my opponent's turn. Probably going to send this Carbing. And the Carbing is going to be a little bit of trouble for us because we actually can't knock it out currently. Alright, so my opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. There's a Crushing Hammer. Right now, opponent is 0 for 2. So they're now. Yeah, they're going to hit one now. That's that's not too bad. Alright. T Flare got discarded Dark Energy. Okay, calm down. Please stop. I <laughs> uh, see a Fighting going to Zygarde. Alright, so Diamond Gift. Go attach two strong energies to the Zygarde. I imagine that's what we're going to see here. Alright, so there we go. One on that guy and one on that guy. Alright, so on our turn. What can we do? Well, we get a VS Seeker. Now, is the other evil tall? I don't. Hold on. This list plays. Uh, let me make sure I check the list out real quick. I'm pretty sure the list plays two, maybe three. Uh, let's see. Let's pull the list real quick. I'm pretty sure it plays three break three evil tolls. If it does, we could Ninja Boy is starting to hit for 60 and 60 on the bench. Uh, let's see. So pull the list. Three. It does play three. All right. So we're gonna Ultra Ball. Discard one. Oh, man. And two? Um. Yo, discard these two. Alright, let's see what's left. So, there's a, there is an Evital in here, but do we want to do that or not? I'm, I'm kind of like, want to not do that is my thing. I kind of just want to like... Oh, we actually, I actually discarded the Switch. That's, that's something I didn't want to do. I did not want to discard the Switch. Alright, so... He has a one retreat call, so you retreat next turn, attack with this guy, it will not take a knockout. So I'm actually not gonna grab anything. Um, let's see. Max Lixer's not here, so we're not gonna grab anything. I'm gonna fight for this guy. Put down Parallel City. Yep, alright, so do that. We'll be a seeker for a Lysander? And bring up that Zygarde. Alright, so you'll bring up the Zygarde. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We'll do 150 damage. We do go for what? Nope, we're gonna go for E ball for 150. Alright, so we do 150, 160. It owns my opponent's turn to see what's gonna happen. Um uh, how many Via Seekers have we played? Two Via Seekers. Okay, we put our hand down to zero, which might have been kind of silly. Uh but if opponent doesn't retreat the Zygarde, they are in trouble. I guess we could have played Hex Maniac last turn. It took a knockout on the white. I should have just did that instead. All right, Sycamore, we're going to discard the hand, draw seven new cards. But if we try to make a VS Seeker, we can win the game. All you have to do is bring up the Zygarde and take a knockout. So let's see what does our opponent do here. They can retreat to Carbing, uh, use Diamond Gift, which does zero damage. Um, and then my opponent, as soon as he attacks the Zygarde, he loses this game. Uh, so let's see what's going to happen. Do they have another Zygarde or not is my big question. If they do not, we're looking okay. I guess that was a really 
weird thing to do. So another Carbink coming down. But like I said, as soon as he taps his Zygarde, he's going to lose his game. So he's going to retreat to the Carbink. Carbink's not going to do anything to us. And now opponent's in a weird situation. They need to find another Zygarde. But they only have they already have two Zygars discard in the discard bell. So a, a strong energy going to the active. All right, so see Diamond get for just 20 damage. All right, going to attach two strong energy to this guy. Is what I imagine we'll see. So one of that guy and one of that guy as well. All right, on to our turn. What do we get? We get a Ultra Ball. All right, so we, oh yeah, we'll just end our turn. All right, because we can't attack the that guy regard the Carby regardless. All right, so my opponent's turn. They're gonna draw a card. And can they win this game or not? They have to take uh, five prize cards in six turns. Uh, let's see. Lands have to do 120, 140, 160 minus 20. 140. He's gonna do 190 damage though. So I don't. It's gonna take him a while to like. He's gonna slowly start doing damage to us. But I'm not too worried about that. Um, three fighting. So he doesn't actually have any more strong energies right now. So that's great for us. All right. So <laughs> maybe we'll be able to win this game. Um, and bring it to game number three. So let's see what does our opponent do here. What does Will do? That's the question. So she's stronger. Going to the active, and we'll see Diamond get for uh, for forty damage. Okay. All right. So Diamond get for forty. Can we top deck a VS Seeker? That's the real question. If we do, we'll be okay. We have three trainers spell as well. So three trainers spell left in deck. Uh, two VS Seekers, three trainers spell. Uh, looks like some DCs as well. If we get if we get the energies, we can attach this guy. Pitch Block Spear can can snipe this guy off the bench. If we top deck a VS Seeker, we can also go for a Ninja Boy damage to switch out to take it out on the bench. All right, so there's a Super Rod. Okay, we don't care about that too much. So we'll end our turn. Out to our opponent's turn. Or do we Y Cyclone right now? Actually, yeah, let's Y Cyclone. Move a Dark Energy from this guy to this guy, okay? And then, oh, we should probably put on this guy. That, yeah, we should probably put on the Evitol. No, that would have been better. Why did I not put on the Evitol? Because uh, we put on the Evitol. Uh, oh, man, that would have been a smart play. So let's see what happens. Lands wraps with 2140. Still does not take a knockout on us. That's the great thing to know. All right, so another Carby coming down, okay? My opponent has five cards left in their deck. Um, two via seekers, two in. Okay, so they probably have two via seekers left. There's a via seeker for a team flare gun. Go and discard energy off the active. Oh my goodness! All right, so I'm gonna discard energy off the active. Okay, and there's another power gem for another four, 60 damage. All right, so in our turn, what's gonna happen? There's a dark energy. Okay, so we fortunately can't really do anything with that. So we're gonna end our turn. I'll do our opponent's turn. Okay. All right, guys. So my opponent's gonna take a. He's probably gonna send the Zygarde to take a knockout this turn, but we can uh, Ultra Ball discard a Dark. We can Super Rod Shuffle and Shaman. Um, some other stuff. So another Power Gem for another 60 damage. All right, guys. Now it's gonna be up to us. What can we hit? There is a Trainer Smell. Okay. So I'm gonna Super Rod. I'm gonna shuffle back in two Shamans and a Dark Energy. Yep. We will Ultra Ball <coughs> discard one and two. We'll grab a Shebe. All right. And, okay, so, you'll know, grab Shaman. We'll set up for six. We need an Energy and a Via Seeker. So, let's see. Shaman, set up for six Nagars. Let's see what's going to happen. Do we get it or not? There's an Ana Dark and a Via Seeker. So, we can put a Dark Energy in the active. We can use Via Seeker for a Lysander. And we can bring up that bench, Zygarde DX, and take the game. All right, guys. That was a close one. Uh, we'll bring it back to one to one and we'll even ball. For the knockout, do a ton of damage to that Zygarde. All right, so there we go, guys. That was a little better. Uh, like I said, we're still learning how to play this deck. All right, so there's DC and a max exclusive so victory. And on a game number three, a uh, good game as well. Time for game three. All right, so on a game three, he's going to choose if he's to go first or second is the big question. And let's see what's going to happen. He says, I'll go first. So let's press OK. Let's see this match. And let's see what's going to happen. Game number three is currently one to one. Oh, man. Let's see what's going to happen here, guys. Can we make the two to one comeback after losing round and, or after game number one? And like I said, this is PTCGO series number two. And once again, we're planning it. Will playing uh, the Zygarde Garboder Hammers deck. So call heads like always. Uh, Tails, it doesn't matter. He's going to go first regardless. Um, and that's what happens in a best two out of three situation. So my opponent is going to go first. All right. So let's see what's going to happen. All right. So we get a mulligan. Okay. We actually didn't have seen Ninja Boy being used at all on this channel. I think we've used Ninja Boy once. So there we go. Put a poke on the axe spot. We'll press it done. Uh, we'll get a new hand of seven. Okay. Can we start with Mew? 
Oh, we start with Mew, and can we get a turn one, like, max looks your energy, wombo combo kind of thing? All right, let's see what's going to happen. What does it want to hear? On to game number three, and there is a Trubbish start. All right, now, unfortunately, we cannot knock out the Trubbish. Well, we can. We can actually knock out the Trubbish. Uh, Flowstone to the active, okay? Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from his hands. Discard the Flowstone and a Carving Break. And uh, let's see, what does our opponent get out here? All right, so I mean, imagine maybe a Zygarde, maybe a Carbink. There's a lot of options I can get um, this turn. There's a Shebe. All right, so I'm going to set up for two new cards. Their hand must not be the best. Uh, Super Rod going to show up the Carbink and the, yeah, just the Carbink back into the deck, okay? And then we'll see Shaman set up for three new cards. Let's see what does our opponent find. That is the question. All right, so a Zygarde coming down. A strong energy going to Zygarde. A fighting for going to Zygarde as well. All right, so here we go. There's, there he is. There's Big Bad Zygarde, Optimus Prime, whatever you call him. A retreat to Zygarde. All right, a pass on to our turn. All right, so we get a reverse Valley. Um, we'll train as well. Look at soft cards of our deck. Uh, okay, uh, no, 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 no. I guess we won't grab anything. We'll put down Parallel City. Uh, put my opponent down to three. And then we'll play it in. I know my opponent didn't play anything, but we got to find something or the Zygarde will knock us out. All right. And there's an Evil Talk. Okay, good, good, good. I got so I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I was a little bit scared. So we'll put down uh, Evil Talk. Um, we'll put a Dark Energy in the active. And then we'll just end our turn up to our opponent's turn. Uh, we could retreat, maybe make, make her the mute, just get knocked out. But I really don't care about that, you know. I'm fine with him. Not going to run Going out of five prize cards and hurting Evitol. all. Uh, so you see, train as well. Look at the top cards of their deck. And let's see, what does our opponent get here? Now, um, he puts down an inner. Like, it's going to become does he hit hammers? Does he play, like, does he hit his hammers? That's the main thing. If, it's hit, if he hits his hammers, we're in trouble. If he doesn't hit his hammer, well, Evitol starts doing, does, starts doing way more damage than his Zygarde does. So I see Ultra Ball discard double parallel city. Uh, maybe get another Shaman out. Maybe Garboder. There's a Carby. Okay, that could work as well. Okay. So, Carbink will come, come down. And uh, let's see. So, Lance Pulse for 70 damage. Go take a knockout. Now, Pulse going to go down to uh, five prize cards. All right. So, send up Evitol. And on our turn, um, we get a Via Seeker. So, I'm going to put a Dark Energy the active. I'm going to delinquent, put my opponent at one card. And uh, that could be really bad. It could be something they don't like. Maybe it's three cards they want to keep or something. Uh, so, let's see what they decide to discard. And what are the, what's the one card in their hand? I don't know. It could be bad. It could be good. I definitely don't want to end right now because we know my opponent didn't play a supporter card once again. And uh, let's see what are the three cards they're going to discard. So uh, double two via seekers and enhance hammer. Woo! All right, and we will just evil ball for 20, 40, 60, uh, 80. Okay. All right. On to my opponent's turn now. We stole like Zygarde stole a ton. Like it is, it is a tank right now. We can't really do much about it. So on my opponent's turn, I'm going to put the Zygarde down. Okay. Uh, and a Sycamore. All right. Can't, I mean, I can't complain, but it's whatever, it's whatever, all right, so fighting just the active, we'll see Cell Storm uh, do 60, and, or 70, sorry, and heal 30 from that guy, all right, so in our turn, we need to find somebody right now, uh, there's a Sycamore, so I'm just gonna play the Sycamore, go ahead and discard our hand, draw 70 cards, we need to find some kind of Pokemon, and, okay, we do find a Pokemon, so we'll Ultra Ball, discard, switch, hmm, let's see, all right, we're going to do Switch and the Super Rod, okay? With this, we'll get another Evitol out. Uh, we could go Fright Knight, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's go Fright Knight. That could be really good. So grab Fright Knight. We'll put that guy down. Max looks for the top cards of our deck. Okay, so nothing there. But there, there was a DC, but we can't attach that. We'll put a Dark Energy in this guy. We will Fighting Fruit with the active, and we'll go for the Evil Ball. Uh, not enough for Naga, but uh, we might be able to tank one more turn. Uh, 120, 140. Yeah, he can't knock us out just yet. Even if he puts a Strong Energy down, that does not take a knockout. So to my opponent's turn. All right, so things are looking good for us. If we hit a DC uh, in, a, in a reverse fall, we could take a knock on the Zygarde. Unless he goes for Cell Pulse. Cell Pulse. Um, the things become kind of weird. Uh, let's see. He will not knock us out regardless. Okay, that's good. All right. So we're looking good this game. We're looking better. Uh, I'm slowly 
figured out how to play against Zygarde. That's the main thing to note. Like I said, game number one, I wasn't 100% sure how to play against this deck. Uh, but right now, we're looking okay. Especially since it's a card bank, we can like, pitch Black Spears, start hitting the bench and stuff like that. Uh, he has multiple EXs down the field, which is great for us. And things are finally looking good for us, guys. I mean, game two is looking good as well. But I was still a little shaky. I wasn't 100% sure how to play that matchup. So let's see what does our opponent do here. Does it a carving? Does it put an energy retreat? All that kind of stuff. And also remember, he discarded. We discarded two via secrets with that delinquent, which could be really bad for my opponent. Um. So let's see what else does our opponent have here. Uh, regardless, we have a Sycamore. We have one card in our hand. We can Sycamore. As long as my opponent does not play their own. Wait, dude, they do play delinquent. We've seen it. We've seen the delinquent. Okay, there's Sound Lab. Oh my goodness, they play Sound Lab and delinquent. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, our opponent just, oh, he just, he just, he just, he just destroyed us. That was good, that was good. Can't even complain about that. We have no cards in our hand. Our only card was Sycamore, and it just got discarded. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I can't even, I can't even be upset about that. Uh, so fighting just to the active. And we'll see retreat into the carving, and just a pass. All right, so uh, on to our turn. What do we get? Uh, top deck, I don't know, we'll see. Um, there's a dark energy, okay? So put a dark energy in this guy. We'll go Evil Ball for, uh, for nothing, okay? On to my opponent's turn. All right, can we snipe this guy for a knockout? We can. We can, that's great. All right, so there's a Fighting Jujitsu active, all right? Uh, Team Flurga discarding a Dark Energy, all right, that's terrible. And uh, does he have anything else or not? Nope, just pass on to our turn. We get a Via Seeker, there we go. So Via Seeker for a Sycamore. Go and discard our hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, what can we find with the Sycamore is my question. Uh, there's a Dark, a DCE, okay? Alright, so, we can put down Evital. Um, huh. Um, I'm really scared he'll have another, <laughs> alright, so I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a Dark Energy in the active. Then we'll put a Dark Energy in this guy, and we'll just end our turn onto our opponent's turn. Because what we can do next turn is put a DC in the active, retreat to Evital, and just, uh, 60, and just hit that guy for 60. Uh, Ultra Ball, go ahead and discard two cards in their hand, most likely going to get a shaman out. I imagine that's what we're going to see. But he has discarded, okay, Carbink, that's good as well. All right. All right, so there's Carbink coming down, all right. And, uh, what's the, I mean, imagine the card in his hand is not good, um, because he's been sitting, oh, via Seeker, 4 a of Sycamore, okay. He must have just, I don't know what he just stopped exactly. Maybe he... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So the opponent's turn. I'm gonna draw new. Okay. I'm gonna draw some new cards. Trainers mode. Look at top cards of their deck. But what we can do next turn is uh, hit this guy for sixty. Take a knockout. Then we can hit Zygarde and Shebe and maybe be okay. Uh, fighting for going to Zygarde. Don't care about those really. Trainers mode. Look at top cards of their deck. All right, guys. Maybe we'll be able to do this. That's the question. Can we do this or not? We've only played one Max Luxor, which is great. Uh, no DCE. Okay. That's another good thing as well. Uh, three, four, five darks are in the play so far. We played ten though, so we're looking okay. There's a Via Seeker coming into their hand, all right? And uh, what we're going to do next turn is a DCE retreat. Uh, take a knockout, maybe bench the other Evital or something. Um, I, wish I, didn't want to draw, I wish I didn't draw to this Evital. If we play, if we talk to an end, I'm definitely playing that. But I don't know um, if we'll do that or not. So Strong Energy, Fighting Jugon to Zygarde. All right, so in our turn, what do we get? Uh, we get a Dark Energy. So I'm actually going to Dark this guy. Just retreat. And go for Pitch Black Spear. All right, yeah, we'll Pitch Black Spear, do 60. And we're going to hit this guy for 60 as well. Just take a knockout right now while we can. So 60 and 60. All right, how many Enhanced Tamers has he played? We know he plays two of those. There's a Max Luxor and a Hex Maniac. Okay. Um, let's see. One one Hammer hasn't played. One Enhanced Hammer. No Crushing Hammers haven't played either. Okay, that's a thing to note. All right, so my opponent's turn. Let's see. So there's a strong energy on that guy. What we could do is like hit 60 and 60 and then maybe just knock out the shaman that way. Like just snipe it while it's on the bench. So retreat, see if it treats to Zygarde, okay? And uh, I mean, e like breakthrough. E like, this even tall is about to like what's going to win this game. So it's land wrath for uh, 120. Not taking the knockout onto our turn. We get a trainer's mode, put down even tall. We will trainer's mode. Look at top cards of our deck. We'll grab a in. Um, all right, we'll grab in. Put a DC on this guy. Uh, play Max Luxor. Look at the top skirts of our deck. No Dark Energy Press done. We'll put down Mew and we'll play an in. Uh... Yeah, I want to save the Sycamore for sure. So we'll play in, okay? Let's see. There's a Dark, Trainer's Mill, Shea okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pitch Black Spear, uh, hit for 60. 
And do 60 to the Shaman. All right, so there we go. I wonder my opponent's turn, and uh, maybe we can win this game by knocking out the Shamans. Now, one thing we have to worry about is we don't have that many darks left there. So we have four left overall. And uh, what can... How many max looks have we played? Is, are they all gone? And it tells... All right, we're getting lucky with that one for sure. All right, how many max looks are... So two max looks haven't played. And the reason I put down Mew is we can... Uh, we can use Max Lizard that way. There's a Guard Boater coming online. We don't really care about it too much. Um, I guess it does shut down our Fright Knight. But next time we can uh, hit this guy for another. Do some damage to that guy. Do some damage to this guy. Okay, all right. All right. So there we see a Strong Energy. Uh, strong. That guy maybe. Sycamore discard their hand. Draw seven new cards. All right. So I, I know I keep flipping screens. I'm just looking at everything. Another Crush Namer. And it's a Tails. We are getting so lucky on these hammers. Okay, another crush neighbor, and it's a heads. All right, so discard the DC off the bench. All right, there they go. That's what they want to see. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we only do 130. Uh, you're going to heal the 30 off that Zygarde. All right, so, oh, man. All right, so sit up, Mew. All right, guys, we got to get lucky here. We need a DC and a Max. Looks so on our turn. We get a Shebe, which is pretty much useless. So we'll Ultra Ball, uh, discard double Shaman. We're going to have a Mew out of our deck. Okay, Evatol, we need to keep in there. Uh, so two via Seekers of Sycamore. Okay. All right. So one max. Let's so press done. Uh, we will train as well. Look at top four cards of our deck. There's a max. Looks like, oh my goodness. We don't have anything outside of that right now. That is terrible. All right. So grab a max. Looks here. We will play that. All right. So he's, he's going to hit the Zygarde all the way up. All right. So where do we put this Dark Energy at? I'm going to put on the Fright Knight Evatol. <clears throat> And then I'm just going to pass on to my opponent's turn, unfortunately. Yeah, so we'll just pass on to my opponent's turn. And now we're in top deck mode. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. So if we top deck a DC, we can take a knockout. How many Crush Nairs has he played? It is three so far. All right. So let's see. Can we find a DC or not? Puts him going to three price cards. And uh, this is very scary because he can just one shot an Evatol now thanks to uh, Fighting for Belt. Okay, there's a VS Seeker for a license. He's going to bring up the Evatol, take a knock on it. Oh, my goodness, guys. That is not good. Here comes Evatol. And now we're stuck with only, oh, my goodness, three Dark Energies. All right, so he's going to take a knockout. Not going to good. Wait, he's going to land draft for the knockout. Okay, all right. So he's going to go to three price cards. We'll send up Mew. All right, guys. Can we do this or not? On to our turn. We get a Fighting Fear Belt, which we'll put on this Evatol and just pass. I mean, that's all we really can do. All right, so my opponent, they have six cards left. Can we deck them out? We have four via Seekers. No end type of blade, so I, I highly doubt that. All right, but how many energies have they played? They have played three, uh, four, Fighting... Or, and I wish I knew how many energies they played. That could be a big thing as well. They have two Floatstone to play, which that might be all they played. What we could potentially do is license or shame and get stuck in the active spot. Maybe. Um, let's see. What does our opponent use? Strong energy active. Do you have another VSC? Oh, they haven't. So Cellstone for the knockout. Okay. Uh, gonna do 130. Okay. So they're doing 130 right now. Oh my goodness. All right. So set up this guy. All right. Oh, oh, game's freezing. Hold on. All right, so here comes Fright Knight Evatol onto our turn. What do we get? There's a train as well. So a train as well. Look at top cards of our deck. A Hex Maniac. No, we. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so a Hex Maniac doesn't matter. All right, so we'll pass onto our opponent's turn. Oh man, things are not looking good, guys. So down to five cards for my opponent. They cannot knock out this guy just yet. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen. Uh, they can. They can't knock out either guy. So we're at least taking it for two turns. That's good. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. So one and two, one and two. Okay, maybe. I mean, if we get, if he doesn't have any energy, we could win the game. Uh, lands wrap for 150. All right. So now turn. We get an escape rope. Hmm. So we're just gonna press. All right. So we're gonna press done. I'll turn our opponent's turn. Okay. So take a knockout going out to. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. I guess the question is, does he have any more energies? Does he have any regular fighting energy or not? He's going to have a one card in his hand. It's going to come down to, do, can we hit a life or not? So here goes Evatol. On to our turn. What do we get? There's a dark energy, but that's not going to help us out at all. So, what, so uh, 20, 40, 60, 70, minus, okay. 70, 70, okay. Wait, is, that a, is that game? I can't remember how much he's doing. Okay, so Land Rat... Land's Wrath, 120, 140, 160, 170, minus 20 is 150. So we actually can't win this game. Oh, my goodness, guys. So we'll play Escape Rope. Yeah, we lose game. We can't do anything. Oh, my goodness, guys. We had it, and then we lost it. I don't know what happened. Those Crush Namer hit us. I don't know if we had another Fighting Energy left or not. There's a Land's Wrath. So one, 
Uh, how many? Okay, I was trying to see. His, okay, and let's look at our opponent's discard pile real quick. Um, it's his deck real quick. Okay, so six fighting. I don't know how many left. Oh, he had three floats, so he definitely had a way to retreat that. Uh, there, guys. Oh, we unfortunately lost one. Those hammers. Um. Uh, just hurt us so bad. Like, that's, those hammers is what killed us. But, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, we started 0-1, so now we have to go. We have to climb. But it's seven rounds. We'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens in the next game. But, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. Alright, guys. I just want to give a quick shout-out to our three sponsors, 60 Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.